Hello and welcome to another installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Last time, I uh, read about a whole bunch of different no planets. You, Shut up, Kelly. And then uh, helped a stranded Corian evade Varen and get back to safety. So this time, we're going to go ahead and look for some more side quests. We should be nearing the end of side quest stuff for now, aside from DLC and whatnot. So, um, is there anything more? No. Hades Nexus is done. Which means we want to go back to Hecate and go somewhere else. Enter system. <clears throat> Alright, does this have a fuel depot? Yes, it does. Let's go grab some fuel. Excellent. Now we'll go somewhere else. Let's plot a relay jump. Where do we still have left? Nubian Expanse is done. Calliston Rift is not. Requ requ we're not acquiring the... IFF yet, because once I do that, it's basically end game. Um, I believe the save the crashing ship is actually a uh, side quest, so we might do that later in this set. Actually, let's start with the far rim. We'll see what exists there. Hello, cat. Is there a reason you have come to look at me? You want pets? Uh, this is not an appropriate place for you to sit. I have no <laughs> space to use the mouse. Why don't you go over there? Good girl. Here. Can't even make space here. There. Very good. Alright. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. So, what other system is there in here that we haven't visited yet? Ma'at. Uh, Ma'at. Okay. Ma'at it is. And it only has one thing. Look at that tiny little star. It's almost... I feel like the Normandy is actually a little bigger than it. Okay, what is this planet? Amut. Amut is an enormous hydrogen helium giant with a mass approximately nine times that of Jupiter and nearly uh, 2,900 times that of Earth. Despite massive pressure, its core has failed to ignite in a, in a fusion reaction, qualifying it as a failed star. Oh, cool. Um, it is believed to have captured all other planet-sized bodies in the solar system as moons or in, imp or in impact events, leading to its name, Devourer. Not intimidated by this phenomena, the Geth have colonized many of Amut's moons and skimmed the hydrogen from Amut's upper atmosphere. Travel advisory, Amuth is in Geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Orbital distance, uh, 102.1 AU. Orbital period, 1,036 Earth years. Radius, 92,430 kilometers. Wow, that's big. Day length, 12.2 uh, Earth hours. And it is moderate, so we don't ever have to worry about coming back to the system. Because it has nothing for us. Alright, let's go. I guess we get to pick another system now. Can you keep going, please? Thank you. Don't sleep at the wheel, Joker. Alright. Enter system. Okay, we shall plot another jump, because it looks like there's nothing here to explore. And what's this one? Rosetta Nebula. Sigurd's Cradle. Did we finish all the ones over here? Okay, let's see. Local Cruster, Krogan DMZ, Serpent Nebula, Eagle Nebula, Minos Wasteland, Ishmar Frontier. Oh, that's Firewalker. We'll leave that alone for now. Crescent Nebula. What's this one? Shrike Abyssal, Valhallen Threshold. Ooh. Hourglass Nebula, Omega Nebula. I can barely see that number behind Pylos. Uh, Sigurd's Cradle, Titan Nebula, Rosetta Nebula, Pylos Nebula, Hawking Ada. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Calliston Rift looks like a potential one, and so is Phoenix Massing, but that has Overlord in it. We'll leave that alone. Far Rim, Hades Nexus, Nubian Expanse, and there's like nothing over here. Oh, there's Arrival. We'll deal with that another time. Okay, let's try the, uh, where is that? The Calliston Rift. We'll try this one first, and then if there's nothing exciting here, we'll head over to the Pylos Nebula and do the one side quest that I actually have marked on the map. Okay, let's head out to one of these guys, whichever is closer. Q 
Keep going. Thank you. All right, we'll start with uh, Talava. We enter. Oh, there's only a few things here. Okay, enter orbit. I have detected an anomaly. Whoa, very good. That was fast. Then we'll come back here in a minute. Let's try this little guy over here that's hiding in the glare. Itaris. A large rock planet orbiting an F-class star, Itaris is pummeled by radiation, heavy gravity, and tectonic activity. Its crust is mostly silicates with a little and of little value. Travel is not advised. Orbital distance 0.5 AU. Orbital period 0.3 Earth years. Radius 8,945 kilometers. Day length 65.1 Earth hours. Atmosphere pressure trace. Surface temperature 549 Celsius. Wow, that's hot. The surface gravity 2.9, 2.8 g, not 9. Let's see, what's this one? Moderate. Eh. We don't need moderate. All right, let's try this guy. Kaushus. Hmm. Interesting. Home to the spectacular Infinity Caldera, Kaushus is a young planet with extreme tectonic and volcanic activity. With nine supervolcanoes that can throw out at least 1,000 cubic kilometers of dense rock equivalents each. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Kaushus's activity has put its atmosphere in a state of shroud. It will likely suffer from global dimming for at least the next 10 years. Though much of the surface is no more dangerous than many other inner ring planets, this extreme tectonic activity has given Kaushus a bad reputation and discouraged all resource exploitation. Orbital distance 1.2 AU, orbital period 1 Earth year, radius 6,212 kilometers, day length 42.6 Earth hours, atmosphere pressure trace, surface temperature 249 Celsius, and surface gravity 1 G. Well, 1. <laughs> no unit! Why is there no unit? Alright, scanner results are good. I assume that's what happens when nobody else mines a planet. <clears throat> Let's try this guy. Mitrum. A small hot rock with few resources, Mitrum is used by the Turian Armed Forces for its maximum security prison and interrogation centers. Oh boy. <laughs> that sounds pleasant. The temperatures are high enough to prevent any escape without an environmental suit, but low enough that construction of additional buildings will not be hindered. Over 500,000 prisoners are detained on Mitrum, only a handful of which have ever managed even a temporary escape. A small supply economy and prefab habitat support the prison staff, who usually work only for two-year tours uh, of duty before they are rotated out to less stressful positions. Man, talk about Alcatraz. <laughs> orbital distance, 2.8 AU. Orbital period, 3.6 Earth years. Radius, 4,642 kilometers. Atmospheric pressure trace. Surface temperature, 74 Celsius. And surface gravity, 0.4 G. This one is rich. Ooh, I guess those prisoners aren't doing much mining. Okay, let's go to uh, Titus with its anomaly. I have detected an anomaly. Yes, we know. A desert of whitish potassium salts and reddish iron oxides. Titus is far enough um, away, far enough away from its parent star to have a tolerable surface temperature. Though it has only a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide and oxygen, it is still hospitable enough for criminals in the terminus systems to use it as a staging base. Terrain patrols sometimes fly through the area, looking to preempt jailbreak attempts on Mitrum's prisons. Travel advisory: unregistered starships have been spotted in the vicinity of Titus. Ooh, travel uh, civilian travel is not recommended. Hmm, does that mean Mercs or Gath? I guess we'll find out. Orbital distance, 4 AU. Orbital period, 6.1 Earth years. Radius, 6,045 kilometers. Day length, 22.2 Earth hours. Atmosphere pressure trace. Surface temperature, negative 1 Celsius. And surface gravity, 0.9 G. All right. Welcome to it. Repeat, well, that was easy. a piece of crap back on this planet's surface. If you think you can get it to work, you're freaking welcome to it. Welcome to it. Okay. <laughs> uh, that sounds more like Mercs. Scans have found something. Anomaly detected. Surface scans detect one Yimmer heavy mech signature matching an unknown, possibly pirate registration. Mech appears to be disabled, broadcasting a looping message. 
Message does not appear to be a distress signal. Resource scans indicate large quantities of mineral of resources available, but obscured behind walls of dense stone. Interesting. Let's find out what's going on over there. So we've got one mech broadcasting signals. Hmm. Let's see what comes of this. All right, Said, get your butt out here. Who else are we gonna take? On, um, let's grab Miranda. Okay. Uh, Miranda has four points to spend. Yeah, let's max out her overload. Okay, so we've got heavy in area. Your pulse now damages synthetic amyline enemies so brutally that they explode on death. Ooh, wow. And you have increased your pulse's strength to cover a wide area, making it easy to hit multiple targets. Let's make them explode. That sounds like fun. I like exploding enemies. Unless they hit me, then it's not so fun anymore. Okay. Ah, uh, good enough. Let's see. What are we dealing with? Oh, hey, there's the mech. I'm detecting a large supply of resources buried deep within the canyon walls. Heavy explosives will be required to excavate them. Okay. Well, good thing there's a disabled mech right here. Power cells. Pick up. Uh, anything up here? Nope. Data pad. Let's read the data pad before we play with the mech. I picked Herit good money for this. I uh, paid Herit but good money for this useless heap of signal error. Error detected serious caches of resources here on the planet, but memory leak detected. All right, I said sure. The thing leaks fuel like a volus after a mug of Rheinkoll, but I can deal with that. So I took off and laid out a trail of power cells leading from where I unloaded the mech to bad package please resort so I could at least get the thing moving. And now, illegal fault detected, won't even move. Damn that swindling Elcor. Ha! <laughs> Damn those swindling Elcor. They can be so convincing. Alright. Well. Oh, I can't save. Ah, <gasps> gasp. That is terrible. Okay, Mr. Mech. Piece of <laughs> signal error. Restore memory. Now oh, we have to bypass this thing. Really? Uh, this. And this. And you. And you. Alright, there we go. Oh! Hello! Power remaining. Something. What's over this way? Eh, nothing. Insert power cell. Can I save yet? Nope. Here. Keep going. Ooh. Goodness. Alright, let's go ahead to make sure that nothing attacks it. Although I'm doubtful, I'm doubtful that that'll be a problem. I mean, what's gonna be running around down here? Okay, there's some more power cells that we can grab. Which will stick in the thing when it starts slowing down again, which will be soon. Look at it go! Wonk. There you go. Keep going. Keep going, my robot friend. Go find some more power cells. So we're probably gonna need them. Uh, power cells? Power cells? Anywhere? Anywhere? We've been spotted. Oh, hello. I had a feeling there would be Varen, if anything. Why can't I move this? Oh, there we go. Fly! Hey, Miranda, hit that guy. Oh. Right, that one is running up here. I will just explode this one. 
And uh, somebody get the other iron. I'll just pull it. Miranda, get it, please. Thank you. Okay, there's some power cells back there. Why did you guys run away? Damn your cover seeking AI. Can I save? Nope. Nope, nope. No can do. Okay, let's grab that. Excuse me, Zaid. Miranda, why are you lagging behind? Can't be that hard to keep up with me. Alright, Mr. Mech. Mr. Abandoned Mech. Let's adopt him. We'll take him on the ship and name him Freddy. Although I guess we're gonna need a lot of power cells if we're gonna keep him running. Maybe Tally can fix it. Let's grab this. Anything else? Oh, he's gonna need to break down this wall. Yep. Which means we have to wait for him to get here. Come on, Freddy, hurry up. Hurry it up, man. Go, go, go. Nah, he's gonna fall here. Yep. Keep going. <sighs> Come on. Break it down so I can get through and find you some more power cells. Kaboom. Did that. Why are you failing at this? There we go. <laughs> wow. Resources examined. <gasps> no! Freddy! I'm sad now. <laughs> Examine the resources. Oh wow, 5,000 platinum. That's actually quite a lot. Beep, beep, beep. Okie dokie. Yeah, 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 we know. Blah, 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 blah. Recovered buried cache of resources. Humor mech unsalvageable. Ready! Experience gained. Got some credits. Got 5,000 platinum. We are done. Well, that was fast. Fast and tragic. <laughs> okay. Well, there's still more to do in this system, though. So we'll see if there's anything else. And there's a couple more to goof around in.